Hey, this is Danny Jones, and uh, I've gotten a question about uh, how my turntable operates here on the fixed post grinder. Um, I'm actually going to do a grinding session on this 12-inch uh, mirror I've been working on. Um, just real quick uh, about the, the grinding the grinding table. I was asked about uh, what drives the thing, and uh, right away you can see a, you can see a central shaft running up the center of it. Um, Here's the here's a roller chain, a sprocket here. There's a little uh, 1725 RPM motor back there attached to a worm drive. It's about 30 to 1, I think. Um, there's a pulley on that, or a sprocket. And then the roller chain goes to the other sprocket onto the central shaft, and that's what, that's what drives the whole thing, and it does it pretty easily. And if I want to change speeds, I can just uh, simply raise the, the shaft up out of the way, drop the sprocket off, Put another sprocket and another chain that I already have, and I got two different ones a littler one and a bigger one. So I got essentially, I've got a really fast speed, this medium speed, and then I've got a really super slow speed for the big sprocket. So that's what drives the thing. And then, uh, <clears throat> let me just move the camera. And uh, you can see the, the turntable there, and it's got some uh, white looking, um, those are hold downs to hold the mirror in place after I get it centered. And uh, this is the 12 inch mirror that I've been working on. <coughs> um, also to note about the turntable, I forgot to mention that, this is an overarm going over, over the turntable, and uh, you can't see it very good. Right in the middle of that light there, you see a little deal sticking down there, and that's a that's a bushing, and the uh, there's a steel post that goes down through that onto the back of the grinding tool, and uh, I'll show that in a in a different video when I move on to rough grinding. But that's just kind of basically what the turntable is and how the thing drives, and uh, I've got this 12-inch mirror here that I've been working on. And uh, I used a used an angle grinder and a diamond blade, and I roughly generated a curve into that. And uh, of course, that just leaves a, a really super rough rough surface, completely terrible. So then, what I did is uh, I used some number thirty six grit abrasive. I used the the post and the and the grinding tool, and I ground all that roughness and damage from the angle grinder out. So that I could get, you know, uh, a smoother surface. It's obviously 36 grit, so it's not real smooth, but I got a smoother surface. And uh, you can't see it in the video, but um, you can see something there. There's some, there's numbers, and I wrote the the numbers of from the spherometer on there, and uh, I'm at 13 thousandths, 15 thousandths, and 15 thousandths on the outside, which uh, is not nearly deep enough. I should have spent some extra time with the angle grinder and dug that curve out more. Um, there's really no way to measure that with a spirometer because once you're digging it out with the angle grinder, the surface is so damaged that there's no way to get any kind of a reading at all, really. So nothing, nothing within any accuracy. So all you can do is smooth it out some enough to put the spirometer on there, and uh, that's what I got. And I need uh, 38 thousandths all the way across the mirror. This is going to be an f4.2 mirror with 50 inch, 50 inch focal length on that, of course, and that'll be um, almost 51, so it'll be almost 102 on the radius of curvature. So <clears throat> I'm nowhere deep enough, so I've got a couple of options here. I could uh, get the angle grinder back out, and I could deepen it out some more, or I could just hog this mirror out um, with a hogging tool and not use the fixed post, just do it by hand. And, uh, and I think I'm going to go that route. So I think I'm going to hog this mirror out by, uh, by hand. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the turntable on and use the abrasive. And I'm going to use my uh, dental plaster and, and, and tile tool. For those of you that were are on the uh, telescope making SA form, uh, you've seen pictures of how I made that tile tool. So um, if you're on that form, you can refer to that. For those pictures, but I'm gonna use that tool and uh, I'm gonna hog this out. 
I'm going to use about 20 to 30 minutes on hogging it out this way and then uh, clean it all up and use this thermometer to measure my results with and then see how far I've gotten. If I've not gotten very far at all, I might go back to the angle grinder, we'll see. I'd rather not have to do that. But uh, that's kind of the way I'm going to go. So um, I'm just going to do go ahead and do one quick little wet so you can see how I how the turntable turns and, and how I hog the mirror out and, uh, and we'll just go from there. So this mirror is a, this mirror is a, a 12 inch mirror. It's about uh, one and three quarters thick right now. It'll be a little bit thinner when I get done. Um, this one's plate glass. I did cast this myself and I'll so show some future videos on that on how I do that but I cast this this glass and it's plate glass uh, there's a hole machined in the center of it and I did that so when I uh, used a, a different attachment for the turntable I could true that up to make it a true circle and I just filled it with dental plaster and that shouldn't affect the figure or the or the, or the reflectivity at all it should the image should still be good so that's what that is. So I'm just going to, uh, first thing I usually do is I, of course, I'll wet the mirror down. And right now I'm just using regular tap water. When I get into the polishing stages and finer grinding, I do use distilled water. And uh, I've just got some, uh, in this uh, little mustard bottle right here, um, I've got some 36 grit abrasive. And that just goes all over the mirror maybe a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half. I myself, I like to make sure that's wet too. Then I've got the uh, dental plaster and, and tile tool. Those that were on that telescope forum, I've seen this. It's been used. I've used it some. That's what I did to, uh, I used this tool to get that damage from the, from the angle grinder out. So I'm just going to wet the tool down. Tool is on top of the mirror and we're just going to hog this out and do some hogging work here. Um, this is 36 grit abrasive so it's really really harsh sounding at first and I like to uh, just move the the tool around on top of the mirror a little bit to kind of distribute the abrasive and and uh, get it working a little bit. Now this is silicon carbide and silicon carbide other com uh, other countries I, I don't know about where some other people are from I think they call it carborundum. Um, silicon carbide um, the more weight you add to it on top of it the the more action it will produce the more cutting it will you'll get so on top of the uh, on top of the tool there, got a couple of ten pound weights. I'm just gonna carefully set that down. Now, now that's a really really harsh sound there. So we wet down the mirror. We put some 36 grit abrasive on. I wet that down a little bit with the tool. Place the tool on top. You got 20 pounds of weight on there. This is the part where you want to roll up your sleeves and keep your sweat rag handy and close to you so you can wipe your face as you go. I'll uh, run the turntable. We'll run uh, across back and forth of the mirror. Then you know with the one third overhang, and uh, just like you would hog in any other mirror, only this mirror is rotating. And uh, this 36 grit abrasive only lasts for you know maybe a minute at the most before it's completely pretty much broke down and then you uh, have to add some more grit and then do it over again and after a few times I'll wipe the swarf off and then uh, clean the mirror up and then start all over again and I'll run in that configuration for about 30 minutes but I'll just do one quick little wet here so you can get the idea
it's probably, I don't know, maybe a minute. And you could uh, hear from the beginning how harsh that sound was when I first started. And if you listened towards the end of that, it was much quieter. Still loud, but much, much quieter. So that means that the, the grit is pretty much mostly spent. And uh, what I'll do is I'll just repeat that process. After a few wets of that, I'll clean the mirror up um, with some water and all that. And then reapply the grit and do that whole configuration over again. And I'll continue that for about half an hour and then measure where I'm at. So, thanks for watching.